Temple Newsome, just outside Leeds, is a house to match every taste. 17th century on the outside, Tudor and Regency inside. Actress Liz Dawn remembers the awe and admiration of childhood visits to a stately home. Because this house was so near where I used to live, I almost felt as if it belonged to me. It was so easy to walk through the woods and there it'd be looming up like a palace. To any young child, you know, seeing this magnificent Jacobean front of Temple News and Mansion, well, it's quite impressive. So can you imagine how I felt? Ten year old, living on a council estate at Alton Moor around the corner. Well, I'd never seen anything like it. I think having parents like I had, I never really felt poor because we always had love and, and nobody had anything in them days. My mother worked on an Offerman press. She just seemed to love life. Even though she worked hard, she always made sure that she enjoyed herself. After the war, there weren't many houses that you could walk around. But this house, we were lucky because it belonged to the people from Leeds. Oh, my mother loved it. And then I were really amazed when my auntie Nelly told me that my great-great-grandfather was a gatekeeper here. Oof. That was really something. Now, this is the room that they really wanted to show off with. You know, they bring company through, just having a look at this fantastic room. But every so often, you know, they used to have big parties. Oh, yes. I mean, they'd have music and dancing and card games. I wish I'd have been there then. I remember walking through this room I mean, it just looked enormous to me, never ending. But I used to look at the portraits and I used to think, I wonder what it was like in those days. The ladies looked so nice, but the men, oh, won't fancy one of them. It was always when I got to this funny little staircase, that I used to get really excited, you know, when I was a little girl because I knew then that I was going to see what I thought was the king's room. Do you know, this is the room that always fascinated me when I was a little girl. Look at the panelling. I always thought there was a secret door behind there. Look at this furniture. <laughs> And the bed, oh! Henry VIII slept on there. Dare I hop over the rope? Ooh, I say. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna have a sit down. Ooh, sorry, Henry. The house was full of really strange things like, well, look at this, this abbot's chair. And I can remember staring at things and wondering what on earth they were. Isabella, Lady Hartford. One of the great beauties of the day. But it was because of her being so beautiful that the Prince of Wales started visiting. But he must have known they wanted to do this place up. Because instead of bringing chocolates or flowers, what did he do, eh? He turned up with a few rolls of wallpaper under his arm. <laughs> anyway, the Prince of Wales didn't get anywhere with her. Because I don't think she had much time for him. But they did put the wallpaper up. But I think they thought it were a bit dull. Anyway, then she went and ordered the most expensive book 
all these birds inside, you know, from this uh, Mr. Audubon, this very famous illustrator. So what did she do, eh? She cut all the birds out and put them all over the walls. Anyway, this book, you had to get in volumes by subscription. Well, when Mr. Audubon found out what she'd done, he cancelled her subscription. Not surprised, you. I used to wonder as a little girl what it must have been like, you know, being the lady of this house. Mind you me, I'd have probably been a scullery maid. <laughs> you know, I couldn't believe these bedrooms. Having lived, you know, in our little house, the Bolton Moor, and that little box room that I slept in. Someone once told me that people sometimes spent all day in the bedroom. You know, having breakfast here, having friends and visitors in for a chat. Do you know, I never knew my mother have a single lie-in all her life. So that seemed the height of the luxury to me that somebody could actually spend all day in the bedroom. I remember once looking out of this window and my mother saying, hey, that's where your dad works. That's the pit. And thinking, God, what a contrast, you know. All this opulence. And my dad's working down there in a big black hole. I mean, at one time, the pit was only 100 yards away from here. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Years fly by, but this house will always be a reminder of what life was like. <laughs>